Ooh, do you see how it pounds out there here in Singapore? The view from my window is just like the Niagara Falls. Welcome back. Remember to like and subscribe, share some love so that more people will get to see this channel and together we can grow the community. Yeah, that's what it's all about. In today's season one, episode eight, whew, thank you very much for your continued support, guys. I'm very happy to announce that the developers from Virtual Speech provided me with a demo of one of the paid premium courses, which I'm very excited about. All right, without further ado, let's go into the Oculus. All right, so we're now inside the Oculus. Now, before you go inside the virtual speech app, remember to create a login username on their website. And then you just simply purchase the uh, paid premium workshop from their website directly. You cannot buy them at the moment from the app. All right, once you're inside the main menu of the virtual speech app, all you do is go to enter code, put in the email address that you assigned your login with, click next, and then just put the code that they would have sent you via email and then you click submit. After that, you'll be brought back to the menu and it will have a little uh, pop-up to say installing. And depending on the size of the workshop and your internet connection, it will take between 20 seconds up to one minute. After that, it will be here under my unlocked VR training. So for us, we have the essential public speaking. All right, and that's it, it's that easy. Let's do now the countdown of the top five premium tools that I got to use during the demo. Number one, the ability to upload your own files to the app freely so that you can use them during your practice presentations. This is free and doesn't require any paid versions. Number two, the distractions workshop, which lasts about 15 minutes. What I really like about this workshop is that they teach you different common distractions and provide you with real world scenarios. For example, Flashes from the camera, mobile phone going off, slide stop working, audio feedback, and a whole bunch of other scenarios. So they will actually place you in a room with these scenarios that will take place at random moments. For example, a glare that just occurred on my screen. And they will give you tips and tricks as to how to deal with this specific scenario. Other scenarios will occur as well. For example, mobile phones going off, or people who start who start to talk loudly. So they'll also provide you tips and tricks as to how to deal with distractions from the audience. So this really prepares you and makes you feel as if you're really there because you're completely immersed and it teaches me how to actually deal with these in a practical way. Number three, the eye contact workshop, which lasts about 12 minutes. The eye contact workshop is really interesting because it really teaches you how to gain more confidence in looking at people in the eye and why it's so important. So they give you tips and tricks as to how to prepare so you can learn how to look at people in the eye. One of the key features that really helps me to practice more my eye contact, the app will then provide you with a heat map where it actually shows you who you looked at and where for how long. So the darker the color, the longer you looked at this person, the lighter the color, the least attention you gave this person or this area of the room. Number four, giving impromptu speeches. So in the impromptu workshop, they put you in a room with slides that they show completely randomly and you have 30 seconds to deliver anything that you want. This really helps me to prepare within an immersive environment about delivering a speech and talking about something without having to look at my slides and makes me feel more comfortable to be within this environment where there are strangers who are looking at me. Number five, the analysis button. The analysis button is really awesome. One of the rooms is a TEDx style conference room. Another one is more of a charity room. And what happens after you click on analysis is that the app will actually record basically everything that you do. It will record the number of words you're talking. It will record the length in between each word or in between each sentence. It will record the confidence, the tone of the words, and how you're giving that speech. It will also record where you're looking in the audience as well, 
just like eye contact and give you tips when you're not actually looking or you're not giving enough attention to a specific area of the room. So when you're talking, you also see the level down there with the bar that tells you how loud you're talking. The analysis gives you a lot of data, including cooperation, modesty, trust, uncompromising, open-minded, as well as self-consciousness, intellect, if your voice is, you appear to be outgoing. It tells you how many hesitation words out of 116 uh, you were given. And for me, for example, as I was talking, it was two words. It will tell you whether you're driven, your cautiousness, your self-assured, and your voice loudness, whether it was quiet, good, or loud. So all this analysis data is really useful to me because it prepares me how to get ready within an immersive environment for the real world. All right, so in today's video, well, can you hear that? Well, I really feel like I'm inside the Niagara Falls, not looking at it. And on top of that, there's a plane as well. So it really feels pretty crazy here right now in Singapore. Okay, so remember to like and subscribe. Comment below, let me know if this video helped you at all. And also put some ideas so that we can help other people and I can go out there and shoot some pretty cool content. Click on the bell notification as we're gonna go out of the studio pretty soon and I'm gonna be doing some really awesome content. Virtual speech, thank you very much for providing me your demo to try out one of the courses. There was so much content, but please, 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 please update the resolution because sometimes I can feel a little bit uneasy and I think that that is something that other people may also feel, you know, needs to be, uh, you know, updated a little bit. All right, without further ado, DJ, take it away.